Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to our channel and thanks for logging on. If you enjoy these videos, do me a favor and subscribe to our YouTube channel right here at Watchbox Reviews. I would really appreciate it and I promise to update daily. If you love this watch, you could see it and you could purchase it on our website, thewatchbox.com. And today we are discussing the type of watch that I would buy for myself. From the most underrated brand in high horology comes the Blancpain Villeray Ultra Plat, an ultra thin automatic watch in white gold with flinke lacquer dial. It measures just under 38 millimeters. We're going to call it an effective 38. It's 37 and a few fractions below 38. So the timepiece on my 16 centimeter circumference wrist wears ultra compact, 9.3 millimeters thick and just under 38 millimeters in diameter. The lug to lug span, a very agreeable 42.6 millimeters such that I can recommend this watch for wrists of any size. I don't anticipate there being a lower limit to the size of a wrist that can wear this watch with elegance and comfort. The spacing between the lugs is a fairly standard 20 millimeters, so if you do want to accessorize, you will have that universal size from which to draw OEM or aftermarket. The OEM strap is of a high grade, like the watch itself, handsome, substantial, but slender. A sheer cut side, which is unusual on an ultra thin watch, it shows you just how much leather Blancpain is committing to this strap, making the profile of the strap where it abuts the lugs almost symmetrical to the thickness of the lugs themselves. Medium rectangular scale alligator leather, navy blue monotone stitch, and it eventually gives way to a Blancpain white gold pin buckle. White gold to match the case with a lovely hinge profile outboard, a little step in the lines of the pin buckle. You can see that we have a lovely break between the case band and the lugs themselves, which have a semi-teardrop underside tuck. And that sharp break gives the case a little bit more strength and definition. It's a look distinctive of Blampa watches, from the 50 Fathoms to the Blampa Villeray, Les Brassoux, and even Le Mans collection. So this is distinctive of their case execution. The case itself, beautifully bright polished. Blampa using a double stepped bezel here, so call it a double Gaudron style, double domed, and then it gives way to a dial that almost defies description. It's a lovely guilloche pattern that expands radially outward. It almost has a little bit of the look of the Vitruvian Man, and so that pattern expands outward. There's an intense translucent blue. It's lighter than the navy of the strap, but it's not quite an electric blue. It is, however, electrifying. Now, at center, you have white gold hands with a lovely skeletonized leaf profile and a needle-style seconds hand with a JB Blancpain logo style counterweight, stylized applique white gold Roman numerals, and you can appreciate that they have all been black polished. So those Romans, as, as I move them through the light, you can see they have black polished heads. There is a monotone date disc, thank goodness, which is blue with white on blue print, so it blends in. It doesn't stick out. It's there when you want it, but it doesn't dominate the dial the way a contrasting date wheel can. You also note that there is a paucity of printing. You have the logo, the name, and then Swiss made, and that's it. All of this is in good taste. The watch seems timeless. It will never look or feel dated given the design choices that have been made. You can appreciate on the case back, this is the Caliber 1150 automatic winding with efficient unidirectional action. There is an uncommon guilloche pattern. I would almost call it ripples as driven by wind, but you could see that it has a three-dimensional, almost holographic-like quality in that it shifts dramatically as you move it through the light. So you have a unidirectional winding system energizing twin mainspring barrels, which ensures not only a 100-hour power reserve, but the twin barrels even out the torque release from maximum wind to minimum wind, whereas a long power reserve with a single barrel can alternately run very fast and very slow depending on whether it's topped off or nearly exhausted. The twin barrels even out the torque release. You'll appreciate that this is a five position adjusted movement. So five positions, the standard adjustment for a chronometer and this watch, though not COSC certified, has been adjusted to that exacting level. All of this is 30 meters water resistant, so don't get it wet. It beats away at 21,600 vibrations per hour and the movement is handsomely executed, pivoting on 28 joules and you can see that there's mirrored anglage on the edge of every bridge as well as the edge of the rounding, the winding rotor. So that rounded mirrored edge is real mirrored anglage, not a machined bevel. There's also immaculate Cote de Genève perfectly aligned across the bridges. You can see the 
barrels themselves as well as the wheels of the winding system are satin finished and there is a rich engine turned perlage on the base plate with all screw heads black polished and their slots chamfered. So this is a hand decorated movement that also meets a very high specification from the 100 hour power reserve right down to the silicon balance wheel that helps it to resist magnetism in modern home and office environments. This watch, in other words, is the full package. The only refinement it lacks, it has a quick set date, it does not have a hack seconds. So other than hacking seconds or stop seconds, this is a watch that literally offers anything you could desire on a beautiful and universal men's dress watch. See it and make it yours on the watch box.